If you know this soup, gather here, ache and egusi, the best combo for Igbo occasions like traditional wedding. It's so delicious, you guys. If you cook them very well, you go eat swallow tire. So keep watching to see how I made this. Hello lovelies, let's get started. First, you want to cook your proteins. I'm using goat meat, stripe and stockfish fillet. I will chop some onions, add seasoning cubes and salt. Stir and allow to steam cook for 8 minutes. 8 minutes later, I will add my pre-cooked cow leg. Add water and allow to cook properly. I will be adding mackerel fish. I'm going to season with all-purpose seasoning. Transfer in my air fryer for 20 minutes. Over here are the rest of my ingredients. Crayfish, egusi and eroso, dry catfish, ogiribo, scotch bonnet peppers, ozeza seed, grounded ache and my baby spinach. Please use bitter leaf if you have or oha. I'm making use of what is available for me. Now, I'm going to blend the blendables, egusi and eroso, crayfish, peppers and ozeza seed. I will go ahead and wash my dry catfish, basically getting everything ready. Now I check on the proteins and it's about 85% cooked. I'm going to add my dry catfish, palm oil and my egusi paste. You don't need too much egusi when making this soup. Add the egusi like this, cover and allow to cook for 8 to 10 minutes on a medium heat. It's been 10 minutes. I'm going to add my blended crayfish, oziza and ogiribo. Add more water, stir and break the egusi lumps apart. Cover and allow to come to a boil. We will come back to it shortly. Few minutes later, I will add 3 tablespoons of ache depending on the quantity of soup you are making. This soup is not supposed to be thick. So add ache gradually until you achieve the right consistency. You can also mix your ache with oil so that it doesn't form lumps. I brought mine from my freezer so I know it's not going to form any lumps. I'm going to stir, cover and allow it to cook for at least 6 minutes on a medium heat. Meanwhile, I will debone my mackerel fish, blanch my spinach, squeeze out excess water from it, cut into chunks and set aside. Delicious. At this time, I check on the soup and love the consistency. Now I'm going to add my mackerel fish, stir and adjust the seasoning. I'm going to cover and allow it to cook for 3 to 5 minutes. 5 minutes later, I will add my spinach, stir and it's ready you guys. This is a reminder to go and make this combo. It's so delicious. Thank you for watching and enjoy the rest of the video.